Hi, this is Chad with Take One Film and Video, and thanks for joining us back here today. Well, we're here in the product demo room at Take One Film and Video, and we're really excited to be talking about the Panasonic HS50. It's a very compact switcher that packs a lot of, uh, a lot of punch in this little box. And so uh, let's jump in and take a look at what we got here. Uh, if you look on the back, we've got four BNC inputs, and uh, it's important to mention that this switcher is a digital-only switcher, so any composite analog sources that you have are going to have to be upconverted to be able to use into this. Um, but here we've got some sources coming from uh, our HCK10, we've got a HC50 RoboCam system for Panasonic, and we also have the HPX170 here in the back. Um, all these sources are brought in high def uh, into these, these inputs here, but say you do have a uh, standard def camera, as long as it's digital, you can upconvert that signal to HD in this switcher. So the up conversion built in is a very cool feature. Now there's a fifth input on this as well. And if you look on the back here, you'll see that there's a DVI input. Now I've got my laptop set up here so that I can bring my computer into the switcher without having to use a scan converter. Uh, so you can use that to bring in graphics or, you know, for instance, I've got a Skype window that's open here. I can bring that in uh, as well. And so anyway, it's uh, a great feature. To, uh, to be able to not have to use a scan converter, another great f feature of this uh, little switcher here. Now, if you look at the outputs, we've got three uh, HD outputs. There's a redundant uh, output, which usually you might want to take your program and send it out to two different sources. And then we have a secondary output, uh, which is assignable. It can be preview, it can be the aux bus. Um, and uh, uh, and that's, uh, that's our options for uh, HD or standard F digital outputs. Uh, there's also a DVI output, and what's really cool about the switcher, this is one of my favorite features, is this multi-viewer output. Now, if you look here, I've got all my sources laid out with my preview and program, and it's output onto one computer monitor, one DVI monitor. You can uh, make that into a, a larger LCD display, as big as you want, but uh, it's great because it eliminates the need for individual monitors for your sources. Uh, now, you can, pre you can uh, uh, change the way that the layout is by several different presets built into the menu. So if you don't like the, the preview program with the small sources, uh, you can change that as well. Another great feature, it has a built-in digital VU meter for your sources that have audio embedded down the signal. Um, <clears throat> moving on, we'll talk about the, uh, a couple different features. It has a uh, built-in keyer. It'll do chrominance or luminance, uh, luminance keys. Uh, it has a color background, and it also has two frame buffers, two memories that you can store either graphics from your computer or you can grab a frame from your camera and store it in your, your switcher. Even when the switcher is powered down, it stores those in the memory, so it's a very cool feature of, uh, of, of this thing. As I mentioned, it does have an aux bus, and you can, uh, you can route any channel here from the aux bus. It has a picture-in-picture. -picture. Um, you can also use the, the switcher as you would a normal larger switcher with a T-bar. It has a small fader, uh, like an audio console style fader instead of a T-bar, but it works just the same. You also have some cut buttons here and you can do auto transitions like you can with the bigger switchers. Uh, anyway, it's a great feature. If you combine it with things like the HE50 and the RP50 robotic system, you can network these switchers uh, through a network hub like I have here and the switchers will actually work together with each other and function as one unit. Anyway, it's a great feature. Uh, there's also other switchers that you can add if, say, you need more than four uh, digital sources or, or five like this one has. Uh, there are a couple different options as well. You can, there's a, a six input, there's a 12 input or a 16 input switcher that you can uh, uh, also get from us as well. So if you have any questions, please give us a call, 1-877-81-TAKE-1, or you can email us at mail at take1.tv. So again, thank you for joining us here today and let us know if you have any questions about the Panasonic HS50 Compact Switcher.